Yeah, I just came back from from my project in Himalaya. The project was to climb uh, Virgin Northwest face of Annapurna. It was my second attempt on the wall, uh, but not that much successful, uh, <laughs> I have to say. On the last expedition, we reached around 6,700 meters on the wall. This time, we even didn't get to the base of the wall because we failed on the first stage of expedition, which was acclimatizing on Langtang uh, Lirung, uh, which is a beautiful 7,000 meter mountain uh, located in Nepal. What's the reason of our failure? Obviously, there are a few reasons. Some of them depended on us, some of them didn't. Uh, one could say we were quite unlucky about the weather and conditions because when we came to the base camp there was still a lot of the snow from the winter season and the start of our route was snowy couloir that got really dangerous um, with the large amount of snow. The avalanche danger was pretty, um, pretty real and pretty big so we had to wait for the snow to settle but then there was a cyclone in Southeast Asia that resulted in super high winds that got as, as uh, strong as 150 km per hour on the summit. So for 11 days we were grounded in the base camp. And then at the end, when we finally went for our summit push, there was uh, again a large snowfall. There was a big risk that we got trapped on the mountain and we cannot return to the base camp. So always when you climb, there is a tiny border between the risk you still are eager to take and the one you say better not to take. Safety was our main concern, so when we couldn't get the proper acclimatization, we knew there is no chance we can climb uh, Annapurna, especially that also this season was uh, very bad for Annapurna, there was a lot of snowfall, so even if we could climb the Langtang Lirum, probably would not be able to safely climb Annapurna North Race Base. This is life, sometimes you make it to the summit and sometimes you even don't get your chance to do the proper attempt. I guess I have to try for the third time.